Okay, okay, we got SZA, Babylon. Um, this is this is my, my this is my dog. His name's Jinx. Hey, puppy. <laughs> He's my little puppy. He's my little puppy. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't like to stay. Uh, whenever I play games or you know live stream and stuff, I'm always like talking to myself, right? And he just he he thinks I'm talking to him. I think, and when I when I raise my voice, <laughs> he thinks I'm talking to him or something. I don't know. Or maybe he just gets annoyed with me. Uh, anyways, SZA Babylon. I saw that Mac Miller produced this. Let me just double check real quick. Someone told me that. And they lied? Who the fuck told me that? They lied. It says produced by DJ Dahi. And that's not like Mac's name or something, you know, like that's not. Uh, I'm super disappointed now. I really wanted to check out this track simply because Mac was on the production, apparently, but I guess not. That fucking sucks. Anyways, let's check it out. <laughs> Tape stop to uh, reverse time stretch or some shit. That sounded nice. Reminded me of Kendrick Lamar's Damn. What is that kick, dude? It sounds like it, it's not just a kick. The kick is mixed with something, dude. What the fuck? Is that? It's skewed. What? I can't you hear the, on the first drop, the first kick, you hear it clearly. But as it goes on, it sounds like the kick is um, lower. I don't, I don't know. Just... <laughs> that sounds so weird. There's a lot of weird texture to it. I can't It's wild how like the ki the kick and the snare aren't the loudest instruments in the track. Usually that's what maybe because it's more R and B that might be it. Because usually like hip hop and stuff, you always try to make sure your kick and snare uh, are the highest you know, peaking sounds in the mix. Kind of 
Kendrick's part not in here? What? I'm looking at the lyrics and it says Kendrick's in here and he has a whole ass verse. They skipped Kendrick's part? What? That's a sin, you don't do that. You do not wear socks when you go into the water. Don't. Don't. That bass line is so groovy, groovy. Gone fishing. Huh. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I can definitely see if Mac did do some uh, sound selection or something, because some of his beats that he can cook up are they sound kind of um abstract, I guess. Uh, and I can definitely hear that with the kick and the the bass line um and maybe the, even like the etherealness of the sound like it does sound like he mac could have done stuff with this but to say mac made this this beat uh no i i don't think so uh rap genius doesn't think so but rap genius isn't always right uh <laughs> but i i trust rap genius in this situation um so what was that you you, you lied to me who lied to me who fucking lied to me dude <laughs> Who lied to me about that shit? Come on, man. I got all hyped, man. I was... Whatever. I mean, it was a decent track. It did feel a little sleeper. Like, like, like I'm ready for a nap. Maybe it's because I ate dinner like in... I ate dinner a while ago, though. I ate dinner like an hour and a half, two hours ago. So I really shouldn't be feeling that now. Uh, I don't know, man. It was not bad. SZA did her thing. Beautiful, fucking soft, smooth voice as always. But the track, uh, I was I was sleeping, man. I was sleeping. I can't lie. I was sleeping. Maybe if Kendrick Lamar was on this version, uh, I get he's not in the music video version apparently. Um, but I, maybe that would have woke me up a bit. I don't know. Um, trash or pass? I will give this a pass. It is definitely worthy of passing, but it is definitely a weaker track. So eight point one from me. 8.1.